Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Build an Aquarium Workshop, and today we are back on our 40 gallon breeder saltwater aquarium, and we're here to talk about bubble algae. Yes. Uh, okay, so bubble green bubble algae, what does it look like? Well, we've got it here. We had so much of this in the tank, and we've really come so far, and we wanted to go ahead and tell you how um, to get rid of it. There is no real easy way. Typically, when you have problems, pests, you like to get rid of them naturally, you know, with, uh, like if you had Aptasia, use some uh, uh, Bergia nudibranchs or, or some cleaner shrimps, you know, if you, and right now we've got this angel, bicolor angel in here uh, for the Majano anemones to get rid of them, um, you know, or you like some type of treatment like we did, we treated this tank with uh, Flatworm X to get rid of flatworms. So, um, but I'm here to tell you that the boa algae, it's just no really easy way to get rid of it. Let me show you some green bubble algae right there. You can kind of see it up there on the grid by the blue mushroom. And you know, as I'm working on it today, let me show you. Let me go down here and show it to you. Okay, so that's what green bubble algae looks like. Okay, try to get it in the light there. A lot of you have seen it. A lot of you reefers are like, oh my gosh, green bubble algae. That's the worst. And it is one of the worst things. So, <clears throat> what I'm here to tell you is, as much as you can, and I've got over here a bucket. Let me go back down here, show you. Here's the bucket. Rocks that I'm treating, corals that I'm treating, and my other little container. As bubble algae comes off, I am putting it in there. And I'm using a handy dandy brine shrimp net to scoop it out with. Okay. So, the thing about bubble, green bubble algae is this you don't want to break it because. If you break it, it's going to burst and a little um, spores are gonna go everywhere in the tank and you're gonna have tons more green bubble algae, okay? That's what makes it so formidable. Now, if you say, well, I just, you know, leave it alone, I'm not gonna touch it, you know? Um, I won't do anything with it and it won't break. Well, unfortunately, it grows and grows and it gets to the point where it gets really huge. I don't have any huge, really huge ones in here to show you but it gets really massive and what happens is it busts, okay? Or it accidentally busts, you know, anything can can bust it, you know, even if you're, if it's just your hand or you're doing a water change. And now you've got green bubble algae everywhere again. So I'm here to tell you as much as possible, if you to get rid of this green bubble algae, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna take out, whenever possible, take the green bubble, whatever it is, a coral, rock, the grid, take it out and work on it outside the tank. That way, if it busts, you don't have to worry that you're gonna have green bubble algae all over your tank forever. The other key thing is, is you'll see the power head here. Power head's off, I pl unplugged it like 10 minutes ago. Water's very, very still, which is good. That way, even if green bubble algae accidentally bust, it's not spreading out all over the place. Although, once I turn the power head on, it would probably just spread out all over the place again. Of course, I've seen videos where people use their siphon tube and they siphon out bubble, green bubble algae. They even bust it, siphon it out. Um, and you know what? I think the easiest way really is, is just to go ahead and no matter what, let me show you some more over here. A good picture of green bubble algae and clusters on this mushroom rock. And the, the easiest way is just to go ahead and take the piece out and uh, work it with your fingers, okay? Um, you know, you can, easily grab it with your fingers without busting it. It's pretty durable um, and you can go ahead and just kind of flick it off a little bit here and there. And again, the key is is working it on the outside, you know, taking the piece out of the uh, main aquarium that it's in. And that way, if it busts, busting in a, in a bucket or a separate plastic container. Um, and then we just throw that away. Okay, so that's really easy. Uh, it's not hard um to deal with and i'll tell you i have this whole this tank right here zoom back this tank was ridden with it it just um well actually it was the 40 gallon rimless show tank that was that was uh ridden with it and the tank leaked and i had to tear it down and while i tore that tank down this tank right here that you see i went ahead and took advantage and said hey you know i'm gonna get rid of as much bubble algae as possible i had a big green um, tub and i put everything in there all the gridding because that's all it was was gridding there was no sand in it and i went ahead and just started you know sometimes i knock it off with a little plastic piece that i have um, that you've seen it's like a little poker little feeder stick um so, you know whatever it takes sometimes you know that works really really well um w without busting it and um that's what i did i just took as I transferred everything over, I took as much off as possible, and it worked out 
really, really well. The thing is, is you have to keep up with green bubble algae. You cannot um, let it go, okay? Um, you know, whether it's daily or every other day or weekly, you gotta do, in this case with green bubble algae, you wanna do it as often as possible because you really wanna get out as much as possible so that you don't have um, it growing all over the place. And it will, it'll take over a whole tank. And this, you know, if you think you're gonna just let your tank go back to nature, that's not gonna work because what's gonna happen is, is you're just gonna be looking at green bubble algae all day long, okay? So anyway, so that's the thing. The thing is, is you wanna take it out, okay? And let me go back down here and show you kind of how durable this is. So, all right, so that's green bubble algae. And you can see that you can roll it around and handle it with your hands. A lot of times it, you know, separates from each other like that. And, you know, really, um, it, it's, you know, I'm, I'm rolling in my hands. It's, it's pretty durable. I can grab it, I can hold it. It's not gonna bust, okay? Um, so that's just to let you know that you can grab green bubble off of a rock or gritting, whatever, you know, like in fact, this piece right here, I'm gonna do this piece right here. Now I told you don't do it in the tank. I'm gonna do this piece in the tank for you so you can see when it's an easy cluster like this to grab right here, you can grab the cluster, okay? Don't put too much pressure, just kind of work it off. And you can see that it came off really, really easy, okay, in my hand. And now I'm just taking that green bubble algae and throwing it in the tray there, okay? All right, so that's all there is to it. So green, green bubble algae isn't as formidable as you think. All it is is gonna take a lot of time, a lot of patience, um, and you're gonna have to sit there and remove it from your rock, your gridding, wherever it's at, okay? And eventually, uh, what I'm here to tell you is, is that uh, you can be successful with it, and you know, you can have a nice show tank, because it used to be in this show tank, and there's, there's no green bubble algae uh, in there anymore, okay? So it is possible to go from you know, lots of bubble, tons of bubble, green bubble algae to um, bubble free. That's the episode, folks. So I uh, hope this helps out. Um, I'm sorry I don't have a easier remedy, a quicker remedy to get rid of green bubble algae. If there is one, put it in the comments below. Please let me know. I would love to know if there's some device, some animal that will get rid of it easily. Um, and thoroughly okay all right that's the video um hopefully this was useful to you if so hit a like and of course uh, please watch our channel uh, by subscribing all right thanks and have a great day